Section 2.2b is about subtracting rational numbers. Because addition and subtraction are linked, we're going we're gonna to learn how to take subtraction problems and write them as addition so we can use our rules. We're going to start by looking at a couple definitions. Now these things mean the same. Opposites and additive inverses mean the same thing. They both refer to a pair of numbers that add to be zero. So let's look at some opposites or some additive inverses. Four and negative four. Those are opposites. Six and negative six. Negative three and three. Negative one half and one half. These are all op opposites. Point three and negative point three. If you take any of those pairs and add them together, you're going to get a zero. So those are numbers and they're opposites. Now the reason that we learned what opposites are or what additive inverses are is because every subtraction problem can be rewritten using addition of the additive inverse. So we're going to look at a bunch of examples for that. 3 minus 4, let's rewrite it using the additive inverse. So instead of minus 4, we're going to add the opposite, which is adding a negative 4. These two expressions mean the same. This one is subtraction, this one is addition. How about negative 5 minus 9 can be rewritten as negative 5 plus negative 9. How about negative 4 minus negative 2? This one can be rewritten as negative 4 plus positive 2. Notice we're taking all of these subtraction problems and turning them into addition by adding the additive inverse. That's important because we already have rules for addition. We don't have any rules for subtraction. So if we can turn all of our subtraction problems into addition, we can use these rules. And these are the same rules that you learned in the last section, section 22A. Um, same sign add and different sign subtract. This idea of looking for the absolute values and adding them when their signs the same and looking for the absolute values and subtracting them. So we can only use these rules when we turn subtraction problems into addition by adding the additive inverse. Here we're asked to find each difference. Difference means subtraction, so these are subtraction problems. We're going to start by rewriting it. Instead of subtracting a 23, we're going to add the additive inverse of 23, or add the opposite. Now we can use our rule. We're adding two numbers that have different signs, so different signs subtract. It says to take the absolute values, bigger number minus the small, get a 5, and then look at the two absolute values, which one's bigger, 23, and then because the 23 is negative, we're going to get a negative 5 for our solution. So 18 minus 23 is negative 5. Now if you can do 18 minus 23 without going through this different sign subtract idea, that's perfectly acceptable. I'm just trying to find an alternate way to help people understand what 18 minus 23 means um, if they can't do that in their head. Next one, 12.7 minus a negative 18.4. Well we're going to change this to addition by adding the additive inverse, which is positive 18.4, or adding the opposite. Same sign add, this one's just a regular addition problem. There's no negatives here, so we're just going to add 18.4 and 12.7. So 31.1. Here's a couple more subtraction problems. We'll start by turning them into addition. So negative 3.86, we'll add the additive inverse, which is negative 1.75. So now they have the same sign. We use the uh, same sign add idea. Take the absolute values and add them together. So 5.61. And now we have to look back. The bigger absolute value is this number. And because it's negative, we will use that sign on our answer. So negative 5.61. Here we're going to rewrite using subtraction, or excuse me, we're going to rewrite using addition, adding a negative 3 tenths. If we're going to add or subtract, we need common denominators. It looks like a 90 is the common denominator, so I'll multiply by 10 over 10, and over here by 9 over 9. My new fractions then will be negative 20 over 90 plus negative 27 over 90. Because I'm adding two negative numbers, I use the same sign add idea. So we're going to add 20 and 27 to get 47. But we use the sign of the bigger absolute value, 
So negative 47 over 90 is my final solution.